geometry some important points to be remember first the sum of the exterior angles of an n sided polygon is equal to four right angles which is equal to 360 degree therefore each exterior angle for a regular polygon of n sides is equal to 360 degree upon n that is number of sides of a regular polygon is equal to 360 degree upon magnitude of each exterior angle second at each vertex interior angle plus exterior angle is equal to 180 degree quadrilateral a quadrilateral is a polygon having four sides pqrs is a quadrilateral and pr and sq are its diagonal types of quadrilateral quadrilateral parallelogram opposite sides are parallel rhombus all equal sides rectangle all angles 90 degree square all sides equal and all angles equal trapezium two sides parallel isosceles trapezium non parallel sides equal parallelogram a parallelogram has its opposite pair of sides parallel in a parallelogram the opposite sides are equal the opposite angles are equal the diagonals bisect each other rectangle a rectangle is a parallelogram having all sides equal the other properties of rectangle are the diagonals bisect each other at right angles the diagonals bisect the vertical angle square a square is a parallelogram having all sides equal and all angles equal to 90 degree the other properties of square are the diagonals bisect each other at right angles and are equal the diagonals are equal trapezium a trapezium is a quadrilateral having one pair of opposite sides parallel an isosceles trapezium is a trapezium whose non parallel sides are equal example a kite is a quadrilateral having both pair of adjacent sides equal is a table to show the properties of different types of quadrilateral first column shows the type of quadrilateral second column diagonals bisect each other third column all angles equal to 90 degree fourth diagonals are at 90 degree fifth diagonals are at 90 degree sixth diagonal bisect the vertical angle first quadrilateral is parallelogram yes diagonals bisect each other in parallelogram all angles are not equal to 90 degree diagonals are not at 90 degree diagonals do not bisect the vertical angle in the similar way we can see the table and read the different properties of different quadrilaterals for example kite in kite diagonals do not bisect each other all angles are not equal to 90 degree diagonals are at 90 degree and only one diagonal bisect the vertical angle students let us learn something more about triangles midpoint theorem prove that the straight line joining the midpoint of two sides of a triangle is parallel to and equal to half of the third side given a triangle abc having p and q as midpoints of sides ab and ac to prove pq is parallel to bc and pq is half of bc construction draw a line parallel to ab from the point c produce pq to meet the parallel line drawn at s proof consider triangle apq and cqs angle a is equal to angle qcs since 
BA is parallel to CS, hence alternate interior angles are equal. Angle AQP is equal to angle CQS, vertically opposite angle. AQ is equal to CQ given. Therefore, triangle APQ is congruent to triangle CQR by ASA congruent property. PQ is equal to QS by CPCT. AP is equal to CS by CPCT. But AP is equal to BP given P as the midpoint of AB which implies BP is equal to CS. Also BP is parallel to CS. Therefore BPSC is a quadrilateral having a pair of opposite sides as parallel and equal. Therefore BPSC is a parallelogram. Therefore PQ is parallel to BC and PR is equal to BC. PQ plus QR is equal to BC. PQ plus PQ is equal to BC. Or we can say twice of PQ is equal to BC. Which will give PQ equals to half of BC. Hence proved. Inverse of midpoint theorem. Statement. The straight line drawn through the midpoint of one side of a triangle parallel to another bisects the third side. Given a triangle ABC and P is the midpoint of AB and PQ is parallel to BC. To prove AQ is equal to CQ. Construction. Draw CR parallel to BA to meet PQ produced at R. Proof. BC is parallel to PR and BP is parallel to CR. Therefore, BBRC is a parallelogram. Therefore, BP is equal to CR. Mark it as 1. Opposite sides of a parallelogram. But, BP is equal to AP. Mark it as 2. This implies AP is equal to CR from 1 and 2. Consider triangles APQ and triangle CRQ. We get angle A equals to angle QCR since AB is parallel to CR. Angle AQP equals to angle CQR, vertically opposite angle and AB equal to CR. Therefore, triangle APQ is congruent to triangle CQR by AAS congruent property which gives AQ equals to CQ by CPCT. Hence proved. Theorem. If there are three or more parallel lines and the intercepts made by them on the transversals are equal, the corresponding intercepts on the any other transversal are also equal. Or if a transversal makes equal intercepts on three or more parallel lines, then any other line cutting them will also make equal intercepts. Given lines L, M and N such that L is parallel to M is parallel to N and P is a transversal which cuts L, M and N in A, B and C respectively such that AB is equal to BC. Also Q is another transversal which cuts L, M and N in P, Q and R. To prove PQ equals to QR. Construction. Through Q draw a line R such that R is parallel to P. Proof. R is parallel to P by construction which implies ABQX is a parallelogram. Pairs of opposite sides are parallel which implies AB is equal to XQ. Opposite sides of parallelogram are equal. Mark it as 1. Also, BCYQ is a parallelogram since BC is parallel to QY and AQ is parallel to CY, which implies BC is equal to QY. Opposite sides of parallelogram are equal. Mark it as 2. But AB is equal to BC and XQ is equal to QY from 1 and 2. Now in triangle PQX and triangle QRY, angle PQX is equal to angle RQY. 
vertically opposite angle. XQ is equal to QY from third. Angle PXQ is equal to angle arc YQ. Since L is parallel to M, hence alternate interior angles are equal. Therefore, triangle PQX is congruent to triangle QRY by ASA congruent axiom, which implies PQ is equal to QR by CPCT.